like I said, anytime soil is bare, exposed, we don't have soil aggregation, we don't have anything keeping those soil particles together, we lose the organic glues either through disturbance or through solar energy, wind water impact, there's nothing holding that soil together. So combined with the lack of protection, you know, the, the, the leaf litter or the active growing plants, that's kind of like an umbrella. When that, when that moisture hits that umbrella, it slows down that impact on the top of your head. Well, if we don't have any umbrella covering this soil, it's just miniature explosions at the microscopic level. A single raindrop impacts the soil surface at 25 miles an hour. Multiply that times several billion over the course of a rainstorm here in Oklahoma. We've got pretty significant, we've got some pretty significant issues starting with soil erosion. Uh, you know, we were told, some of our agricultural producers, our farmers were told we gotta plow that soil up to get it nice and fluffy with a plow. And it works for about the first quarter inch of soil that I'll show you here in a second. Uh, there's just not any infiltration pathways for that moisture past what that first quarter inch of, of hydraulic pressure pushes that moisture down in there. So I've got some compost mixed soil right next to it. Uh, really just kind of want to reinforce that soil health principle of organic matter and compost is, is, is really a piece of the puzzle, but it's not the only piece of the puzzle. You know, we get quite a bit of initial soaking in once that moisture actually first hits that soil profile. But compost by itself is not the end all be all. We gotta have all the other ingredients for the cake to make sure everything functions the way it should. In fact, we even have a slight amount of, a little bit more Maybe it's because it's so fluffy, the water impact actually condensed that compost down into a smaller area. But good news is we, we know how to fix it. You know, number one is get something on top of all that. Does a pretty good job of slowing down that water impact. Uh, here we've got some mulch over on top, but there's still not any active root channels going down through that soil. That's just compost and soil I mixed up earlier today. Uh, but you see how long it took for that moisture to actually cool up and come down out the front in that runoff? And we're getting a little bit of infil inf infiltration underneath. It's slowing down that moisture, giving it the chance to get down in that soil profile versus just shooting off like a, like a luge right out the front. Still, a little more improvement. Over on our non-amended soil on this side. Oh, we got a little overflow even. Please stand by for technical difficulties. <laughs> so here we're missing the puzzle. The only puzzle piece we're missing is that organic matter content. Uh, it, it's got the root channels, it's got the coverage, so at least we're not running off any sediment. But there's a difference between total rainfall and effective rainfall. We're in a drought right now. We say we need every inch of rain we got, but I've got guys, I'm going to pick on my, 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 my mom and dad because this is their yard. <laughs> it doesn't matter how much rainfall they get if they can't utilize, if they don't prepare their soil to utilize the amount of rainfall that they get. So, uh, right across the fence, and I can brag, because this is my side of the fence, <laughs> where I utilize that compost application. I hate mowing the yard. Sometimes I just don't do it. Sometimes my wife gets mad and says, hey, you need to mow the yard, or I'm, or, or I'm gonna, will beat you up maybe I don't know uh, but that compost application along with those other things that make soil healthy the active growing roots the diverse plant community it's a little hard to tell there but 
man, I just kind of let the weeds do their thing. Dandelions, uh, native wildflowers come in on their own. They're punching holes through that soil profile. When those plants decompose, that's a that's a infiltration superhighway to get moisture down in the soil profile. And I'm just going to sit there and let that run because I think it just reinforces the fact that organic matter, yes, is a major part of this this puzzle, which is why we as compost enthusiasts, producers, marketers, backyard uh, enthusiasts like myself, uh, there, there's no end of the applications as long as we realize that soil health is a dynamic system of which organic matter and compost addition uh, is, is a small part, an integral part, but still just a part of that system.